What's up? What's up, YouTube? If you can't guess it by now. This is what this is about. But I wanted to show you some of my other gear as well. So I just got this in the mail. It's the Roto Riot Flight Controller. Riot Control. The Hype Train Electronics. Came in a little box. Sorry, I'm kind of one handed here, y'all. The box had some foam in it. Protect the flight controller. Had the piece of paper, the documentation. I'm sure you've seen it a hundred thousand times on YouTube. Um, here's the breakout cable. It actually came with three of these, but I had to make my own, which I will show you in just a minute. Put this away. Okay. Here's my gear, some of it anyway. I'm going to start with the first one I ever built. <coughs> this is a real ACC 4220 frame. It's got the Roto Riot camera in it, Swift. Special edition. Um, it's got the Eashin 220S stack flight controller plus ESC. Seems to me to be a very okay flight controller. I've only busted one of them. One of them came from Banggood. Um, no good. So I just bought another one and went from there. Okay, now it's running the DYS Woos 2700 series, uh, tw excuse me, 2400 series. with these props these are the gym fan these are uh, sky dancers here's the skew they are 51 52 okay they seem to work nice Um, here's the other side, I do have a beeper, so we just focus, there we go, I have a capacitor, the capacitor is a 470 UF, 25 volt, I think, and I'm running, uh, with the controller, I'm running this, it's the XJT, I got the extended antenna, this is running with the X, no the RXSR receiver, this is the Turnigy. This seems to be an okay controller. I mean, I haven't had no problems with it. None. Very good controller. 
Okay, then I'm running the Eosheen EV100s. I have a, another battery for it. Actually, tells you when when the battery is full. Here's the voltage on them. Here's for the DVR. This is to plug it in for power. Here, that's the USB to charge it. Okay, here's the batteries I'm running. They're the Infinity 1500 Mu 110C race spec. I'll be getting more of these. Those are really nice batteries. The, the connectors are really nice. XT60s. Yeah, they're really nice. See the leads on them are very thick. I mean, these are brand spanking new. I've only put five charges on them. Okay, here's my EV100s. I'm running a right hand polarized antenna. These are okay glasses. I mean, I can see, I can fly. Um, I've never had fat sharks. So I don't know anything about it being a fat shark killer. <laughs> now they say that the audio Here's an audio button. You plug in your headphones. That doesn't work. Okay. But there's my gear. I have two. Now on to the next quad. This has the Roto Riot flight controller in it. And I just wanted to point out one thing. These tubes, they're PETG tubing for computers, water cooling. What I did was I cut it in half and then I cut it long ways. The links that I needed, then I put them there. That's so if the propeller gets bent, it's not cutting into that wire. I'm sorry, but it's just not going to get through to that wire. Okay, now for the motors, I'm running the same motor, the Woos, <coughs> but these are the 2700 kV. They are soft mounted, which the soft mounting is right there-ish, that little rubber piece. Okay, it's running the same receiver, um, the RXSR. Let's take the top off, so we can get a look at the inside a little bit. Okay, it's running the um, Eosheen ESCs, which I, that's the breakout cable I told you I had to make. So I hooked up the ground and then all four motor leads, and that gave me power for the motor. Here's the actual stack, it's the flight controller itself. There's my power there. That's power in. Okay, this is power out for the ESCs to get power. Okay. Here's another view. Actually, a top view. Now I'm running a cap 
capacitor that's sent down there it runs the whole length it's a thousand UF 35 volt this is the Swift runs run cam Swift uh, silver edition special silver edition this is the Eashin um, I forget the number but it's a number TS 2858 something L something like that the flight controller did come with a beeper Here's the beeper um, two more things I wanted to point out as soon as my camera will focus see these tubes those are cut in half uh, aquarium tube see I got one up in there right along there if this thing would focus there it is see it right there Okay, whenever I put the top on, those two squish together, holds my VTX on with a zip tie. Bing bang. One more thing. I found these at a restaurant. Not the standoffs. Okay. Ah, come on. Okay, I found these at a restaurant. See the straw? This draws perfectly, if it would focus, fits perfectly over those standoffs. Now I like my stuff to be kind of, don't get dirty-ish. <laughs> so you put those over it, and it kind of protects it a little bit. That's all. Um, so, and I'm running the same propeller 51 52 tri blades um, I am running data flight 3.5.1 um, there's my camera I mean the camera is nice very nice the flight controller flies very good um, I did make a mistake and put uh, smaller standoffs here okay and when I did give me a second to put this top back on let me turn it around when I did in between here and here there's a gray capacitor back there you can barely see it right there made contact with the ESC and sparked like hell um, that was whenever I was trying to push the battery down that was my fault so it's nobody else's fault but yeah be careful with that guys if you got this be careful with your height and your stacks so that's it guys that's all I got for you